in the 70s, by the time we get to the early to the mid 70s, we had 20 years, a couple of decades of radiocarbon dating to allow us to see that ice ages were a lot more contracted than we had imagined them to be. And their changes, both growing and melting away, were a lot closer to our own time than we had previously imagined. So that was one thing, right? And then we began to be able to date. We found, for example, the assumption glaciers were covering North America for 100,000 years, pretty much a big stable mass of ice. And then somewhere 30, 40, 40, 50,000 years ago, climate began to warm because of changing geometries between the Earth and the Sun. So the climate began to gently warm, and as it warmed, the ice began to shrink, and after tens of thousands of years, it melted back to what it is now, is organic stuff. Though radiocarbon dating showed that roughly 30 to 40,000 years ago, there were forests growing in the region of Hudson Bay. Now, why is that significant? Well, because Hudson Bay would have been the core, the center of mass, of, of the glacial mass. It was where the ice was the thickest, maybe up to a mile and a half thick, right? So obviously, if there were forests growing there 30,000, 35, 40,000 years ago, you didn't have one long, continuous, unbroken mass of ice for 100 or 200,000 years. Well, that then compelled a rethinking of the timetables, right?